Today I'm going to teach you the difference between old math and new math. Today's lesson is on multi-digit division. You will recognize this piece of paper. This layout is set up for long division. To solve this problem, you will need to look at the first number, 23. 23 does not go into 4, so you need to go into the next number, which makes 48. You will need to work out how many times 23 can go into 48. A multiplication problem can tell you that 23 goes into 48 twice, so you put a 2 above the 8. You use the number 46, which is actually 460, so you place a 46 here. Now you subtract 46 from 48, which gives you 2. Now you need to see how many times 23 goes into 2. Of course, it won't, so you bring the 7 down to make 27. Sometimes you add this arrow to make sure that your working out is clear. Now you need to work out how many times 23 goes into 27. 23 goes into 27 once, so you write a 1 above the 7. You use 23, so you write a 23 under the 27, and use subtraction to get the answer 4. 23 does not go into 4, so we write 4 as a remainder. Although the strategy is effective and it does give you the correct answer, it's not the best strategy to use. If you were in a shopping mall and you needed to solve this division problem, you really do need a piece of paper and a pen to solve the problem. You could work out the answer in your head, but you wouldn't actually use this strategy. New math is all about numeracy, which is the ability to understand and work with numbers. In new math, the students get presented with word problems that relate to the world outside the classroom. The students learn to take important clues from the word problems to create number problems. In this case, the students are able to identify the numbers 487 and 23. The words shared, equally and each are all clues to let the students know that they need to divide these two numbers. Once the students have these two numbers, they can set up their division problem. The larger number is the total number of candies. In this case, there are 487 candies. The next number is how many equal shares the candies need to be shared into. In this case, it's 23. The students will add this line to ensure their working out remains clear. This is why the strategy is sometimes called the Big 7 strategy. The students will first use the number 23. From their previous knowledge of multiple towers, the students should find it easy to remember the first few multiples of 23. 23 times 1, 23 times 2, and 23 times 3. The students should also be able to show 23 times 10, 23 times 20, and 23 times 30. Now looking at the total number of candies, we should be able to share 460 of them without any confusion. We know this because 460 is close to the total 487 without sharing too many candies. So the students share 460 candies all at once. We know from our multiple tower that 23 goes into 460 20 times. And now we are only left with 27 candies. Now we can easily share 23 candies into 23 boxes. Again from our multiple tower, we know that 23 goes equally into 23 once. So now we are only left with 4 candies. The students can easily total up the outside of the big 7 to see that 20 candies went into each box the first time and that 1 candy went into each box on the second sharing. This means that each box received 21 candies each and there are still 4 candies remaining. Once the students learn these strategies, they will no longer need a pen and paper while solving the problems in the shopping mall.